you gotta straighten up your own closet before you come check on my kitchen. Because what I'm cooking up is our God. You know what I mean? Our Islam, we was meant to see I sincerely love Allah's mathematics. I study life around me. This is the original premises of what was going on in the Islamic world before Prophet Muhammad had to come and clean it up. Prophet Muhammad tell you that Abraham and them was living Islam before he came. So what that tell you is that people keep on fucking up. People keep on going savage. People keep on losing their rules and, and ideas of how to live and respect each other. So every error erect a prophet. A prophet is born out of every time. So Danville, Virginia and, 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 and Harlem produced a man known as Allah. And Allah didn't come as a prophet because Elijah said after me won't be no more prophets. You're going to be face to face with who? God. God himself. So how did God came? God came as a stone cold black man from the south with a Virginia draw. And yet he could make these mathematics sound so beautiful because he had his own self-style wisdom as God should. He didn't sound like nobody else. That was, what Eli that was Elijah's dream. And that was Farah Muhammad's dream. And that's why when the only quote we got about our, us and our recognition by Elijah is from Minister Farrakhan. Because somebody asked Minister Farrakhan about the 5% and they said, did Elijah Muhammad ever have anything to say about us? And Minister Farrakhan said that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to, to not to bother us Literally, leave them alone, don't bother them, because they are studying and they are teaching and they are studying my words. And low key, the implication was they studying while y'all not. <laughs> Remember, we the ones that kept the lessons alive from what years? 1975 until whenever the Nation of Islam was re erected. Right? And we had to do this while mourning the death of our father. And if you think about it, Minister Farrakhan brought the nation, his nation and his alien nation, all the people that needed somebody to bring them into a community together again. So we respect him for doing that. And yet, when you think about who it was out of our culture that did the same thing and brought us back together, we did it in 71 after Allah was murdered in 69. We don't always even know who those people were. That's the beauty of our culture. We don't do it for credit. Allah gave himself a name we can barely even credit him for. Every time we try to call him Allah, it's a hard thing. The guy was barely able to get the street renamed Allah, justice in the 5% his way, because naturally you've never had a street named Allah anything, anywhere. So this is a major first for that block to be named after Allah. There's a major thing for him to come out as Allah. It's a major thing for us to say, please stop calling him Clarence 13X, he was Allah. He's a major thing. So it's like, yo, we, we live in a major tradition. And, and we got to give it that proper honor and respect. Like, yo, we had to pull ourselves together. In a, and I want you to think about this. Realistically, in the 60s, in the late 60s, and even when the law came out in the early 60s to teach this, you would have thought that Islam would be around forever. Because remember, at this time, the nation of Islam was going strong. At this time, they had banks. They had so much going on. Remember, into the 50s, 60s, this is Malcolm's leadership. The nation was in his heyday. And Allah was being threatened with death and people was trying to kill him for taking the lessons outside of the mosque. Because there was very many people that was religious about that, you know? And so in many cities, you got real, it's hard to reconcile the beef because you got people that's hurt, you know? And no repercussions really issued because we always been a free culture and you know when people are organized they have more power to do things and that's the thing about organization we always just been man it's just we go off the heart and like you do one of us wrong man we might get you but really man the nation of islam gonna get you and when i say the nation of islam i mean like the ways described in the lessons as in the universe you know justice like uh, when we when we do things what we do with a righteous pure heart man no weapon formed against us should prosper the only one that could fuck us up and sabotage us ourselves. You start doubting yourself, playing yourself, throwing yourself in the fuckery, self-medicating, escaping. Yeah, you fucking yourself off. We don't need none of that. We are super duper energy, for real. Like, strong as a motherfucker. Only thing we really need sometimes is to recharge around each other. We get around. That's why I took y'all to the woods. I'm like, this is what I do. You know what I mean? But, like, I do it where I'll be like, yo, do this with somebody else. Because you might give them their life back. The motherfucker might not ever tell you they was ready to kill themselves until you took them there. If Mega did this.